Here is probably some dumbbells beyond there. Here's some weight machines that you'd sit on and do your weights, of course. Hey, what is going on, guys? Bridge Fusion here, and today I'm with you for another video. And today's video is a WWE Minecraft Arena of Halloween Havoc 2020 here at the Capital Wrestling Center here for WWE NXT. So just like everything guys with my WWE Minecraft arenas, I'll show around the building first and then we will make our way indoors. And as you can see, it does look pretty cool. And at the front of the build, it does still say WWE PC because I haven't seen it change just yet. Up until I see the logo change on there, that is when I will change that logo. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. It looks pretty spot on to the actual build itself, which I'm absolutely loving. So of course we can see some palm trees right here. And of course in front of the building, we do have the big car park, a load of bushes and trees and whatnot, which is pretty cool. But if you was a fan, you'd go down this way and you'd go through these doors right here as we are greeted by a WWE logo right there because it is the reception area and then you'll wait over here probably and there's a big clock up there as well and then over here is a big TV so it'll probably be showing off what's going on but yeah if you're a fan you'd walk down that corridor into the arena itself but we're not going to be doing that today we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be going backstage so there's two ways to go backstage there's this way and this way down here and we're going to go down this way but of course there's these two entrances as well but they'll be for like lorries and whatnot unloading stuff so here is the backstage parking lot let's say and then if we go all the way down here here is the male locker room i know it's a bit small but it's the size that to work with and then over here is the women's locker room so all the men and women will be getting changed in there and then here is the unisex toilet and shower. So of course there is a toilet and here is a working shower. There is a tutorial on my channel if you would like to have a look how on how to do that. But we are going to be going almost to the outside of the arena very, very shortly. But first of all, we do have the little gym to show off that is in the Capital Wrestling Center. So of course here is the storage cupboard. Here is probably some dumbbells beyond there. Here's some weight machines that you'd sit on and do your weights, of course. They got a treadmill here as well. Running, running, running. Right there. So, of course, here is a little bench. And these mats right here resemble the mats that you get at primary school, if you remember them. I don't know if it's just a UK thing. But they're meant to be making the floor a lot comfier, but... It's really not. They're probably more uncomfortable than the floor. But we're going to go out into the arena, guys, in 3, 2, 1. And boom. Here we are, guys, outside, inside of the Capital Wrestling Center. And as you can see, it looks awesome as it is already. So, of course, first of all, we will show off the ring. So, right here would say Halloween Havoc. And here is the pumpkins that is usually on the design of there. What I absolutely love with this is that there's actually orange ropes for this one. That's a lot different to what I'm used to, either doing yellow, red, blue or white, which is pretty cool. Over here, I did see in the Escobar match is that they did have like a little like graveyard, let's say, right in front of the hard cam. So this is what it looks like for the hard cam looking onto the ring. And we're going to show off the stage, guys, in 3, 2, 1. Boom, there is a stage. It looks pretty simple, but pretty effective. I do like it. There was a little yellow bit over here design going on, so that's why that little odd bit of yellow is right there. But yeah, the stage is pretty cool. It's pretty close to how it looks, I think. But my favourite part is probably over here, where it shows off the NXT Halloween Havoc logo right there, which looks pretty cool. And then we do have the two pumpkins on either side and I think that just looks absolutely awesome and then going back over here we do have the NXT Halloween Havoc logo right here and then over here is the wheel 
where you spin it and you see the stipulation of the match. And then over here is a bit where Damien Priest fell through. So that bit's there. And this is where Johnny Gargano and Damien Priest also was fighting over here as well, which was a pretty cool addition. And obviously Shotzi Blackheart would be up here spinning the wheel and whatnot. And then over here we do of course have the announcers table right here so they'll be calling the match. So that's really it for today's video guys. I really do hope you like it. If you'd like to check out this arena for yourself make sure you do check out the download link down in the description below. But that is just for PS4 only unless if you can download it to your PC then feel free. And also make sure you do check out my playlist of all of my WWE Minecraft arenas which is down in the description below. But yes, I've been Bridge Fusion. I really do hope you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Peace out, guys.